Hi guys, it's me, Amy, um, from A Taylor AI One. This is part two in a series that I'm going to do tonight because of all the videos that I've seen that people have a lot of mis uh, information about coupons and how they're used and how you can use them and you can't use them. So we're going to try to clarify them now. In part one, if you didn't see it, you can take a look at it. But I went over a bunch of different stores' coupon policies, and they all have one thing in common. If nothing else they have in common, they all will accept one manufacturer's coupon per item. One manufacturer coupon per item, okay? So I went over that in the first video. So that's the first thing you need to know about coupons. Now I'm going to make this the second thing that you need to know about coupons. If you have a buy one, get one free, and there's no other sale going on, okay, buy one, get one free, an example is this degree o deodorant. By the way, this coupon is expired. No, you cannot use it now if it's expired. You need to not have it. Um, I just happened to fish it out because I was going through my, my coupon binder today, and I'd thrown it away, and then I got it out so I could show it to you. So, anyways, it's a buy one, get one free on any um, men or women's uh, antiperspirant deodorant, body mist, da-da-da-da-da. So, anyways, so this is an example, buy one get one free. That's a great deal, isn't it? Now, if it so happens, now this is 626 of 11, um, June 26 of 2011, um, Walgreens had a buy one, get one free promotion on the degree, and I had, of course, this coupon for buy one, get one free. See, I still have plenty left. I don't clean shelves off. Um, and I can use one buy okay they have a promotion that says you can buy one and get one free so their promotion says you can have that one for free and pay for that one well if I have a buy one get one free coupon like this then I get this one for free too because that covers the second one okay pretty simple makes sense Rite Aid by the way is the only store I know of that will not let you do this. Rite Aid will not let you use a buy one get one free on a buy one get one free promotion or sale in the store. Okay, so th that's the first thing I want to tell you about. The second thing I want to tell you about, and that is still going by the store's coupon policy, unless otherwise stated somewhere, it's one manufacturer's coupon per product. Again, in the first video, I went through it on what is a manufacturer's coupon. I'm actually going to do another video that we will specifically go through every type of coupon that I have, at least, and examples of ones that I don't, that are available in the couponing world. Um, anyways, if you have, let's say they don't have a sale. There's no buy one, get one free sale going on, but you still have the buy one, get one free coupon. Okay, again... This coupon gives you a free product. And then let's say that you have another coupon for the same product that meets the same specifications, like this one is 75 cents off the deodorant. Okay? We're still paying for this one, so we can apply this coupon to this product because the policy states on every store I've looked at states you can use one coupon per product okay one manufacturer's coupon I'm sorry one manufacturer's coupon per product so you're using the buy one get one free on one and the 75 cents on the other and yes you can do this at Rite Aid too. Rite Aid's only specification in their policy is that you cannot use a buy one get one free coupon on a buy one get one free sale you can still use a buy one get one free on the first one if there's no buy one get one free sale and then a 75 cent coupon on the second one now let's say you didn't have this buy one get one free and you shop at Rite Aid well if you shop at Rite Aid excuse me you put that down for just a second and uh, let's say that Rite Aid has a buy one get one free and I do you believe I'm correct on this one? You can use two 75 cent off coupons with the buy one get one free because they're giving you two products 
And even though you're paying for one, you still have two products, and it's an in-store sale. Whoops, where am I at here? So these two coupons could be applied to these two products on a buy one, get one free at Rite Aid. Okay? Um, because their in-store sale is not a manufacturer's sale. It is an in-store sale. So Rite Aid is the one that's giving you that discount, not the manufacturer coupon. So you can still use two coupons as long as it's not a buy one, get one free on a buy one, get one free sale. Does that make sense? Any questions, please ask. I'll be happy to try to clarify that a little bit more. Now, the, the one thing I want to point out that you cannot do with a buy one, get one free. If you have a buy one, get one free, so you're getting this one for free. There's no in-store sale for buy one, get one free, okay? So you're going to buy one and get one for free, and you have a buy one. Don't you like how I just handmade that? Or I actually printed it. But anyways, let's say the coupon, instead of saying 75 cents off, said buy one, get one, 50% off. And you have a buy one, get one free. Can you use these two together? Absolutely, positively no. You cannot. And this is the reason behind it. You're going to buy one and get one free. Okay? So that knocks one of them off. Well, this coupon states on it, buy one, get one 50% off. Where's the, where's the one you're paying 50% for? Because you already got one for free, okay? So you would have to add a third product, another one, to this. Now, if you added a third one to this, now you've got one that you got for a buy one, get one free, and then you have a buy one, get one 50% off so that applies to the second one so you're paying for this one now let's say that you have a 75 cent off coupon on one okay not two but one then you could use the okay let me set these back up this is why when you try to do this and you can't figure out why the cashier is asking you, do you have a third product because you're trying to use too many coupons for the products that you're buying, you have a buy one, get one free, okay, that applies to the first one. You have a buy one, get one, 50% off coupon, that takes care of the second one. Then on the third one, you have a save 75 cent off coupon, you can buy that one. Okay, so you have three products, and you have three manufacturer's coupons, and you have met, whoops, they're all falling down now, you have met the specifications for each one of these coupons, and you do need to read your coupons, okay? If this one said save 75 cents off of two, you would have to add another uh, product to it. If it said save 75 cents off of two, then you would need two products for that one coupon because you still have to honor what that coupon says. In this case, though, these coupons say um, save 75 cents off of one. And in the next video, the third one, I'm actually going to show you how to use buy one, get one free and cents off or buy two, get one free with cents off. Okay, so that's in the next video. All right, guys, part three coming up. Thanks, bye.